So I'm really hoping that this video doesn't make a lot of people angry and I really want to make it clear I have nothing against Gabby Hanna. I think she is an awesome person. But currently with what's going on in the world there's some misinformation that's being spread and I just want to have a conversation with all of you and clear some of that up. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community, pop culture, or just in the world in general and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, in this video, like listen, something I've always done, I use a mainstream topic to get you to click on the video and then hopefully teach you something, all right? So again, this is nothing against Gabby Hanna. I think she is an awesome young woman. She's doing great things. Uh, as many of you know, I'm very passionate about mental health. That's something that Gabby Hanna talks about constantly, right? But today she said some things on Twitter and this isn't an isolated thing. Like Gabby Hanna is not the only celebrity talking about what's going on on Twitter or on social media platforms. And that's what's going on in the Amazon rainforest, all right? So I wanted to address this because like I said in the intro, there's some misinformation going around and I know a lot of people wanna know what they can do to help, but we have to know what we're working on, all right? So anyways, here are some of the tweets. I'm gonna censor them because Gabby was going off, all right? So here's what she was saying. Yo, the forest is effing burning and the ocean is effing suffocating in trash and the world is literally effing ending. Can we all please like just be a little more effing conscious of our choices and stop killing effing everything we touch? Companies, stop with the insane boxes that are too big for the product. Stop with the ostentatious PR packaging. Stop being reckless to be noticed. Consumers, bring your own bag, bring your own straw. Bring reusable utensils. Reuse, recycle. Earth, please don't die. Companies need to offer incentive to be smarter because apparently saving the earth isn't enough. Brought your own spoon to Froyo? Dope. Your next one's half off. Brought your own straw to the bar? Sick, this cocktail is a double shot now. Uh, brought your own cup to Starbucks? Here's an effing cookie. Then she goes on to say, there are people literally starving to death and we're still throwing away food in the trash, not in starving people's mouths. An effing spay or neuter your effing pets for F's sake. Rant over. So listen, Gabby Hanna is not wrong about all of these things contributing to what's happening to this one and only planet that we have until Elon Musk figures out a way to get us to Mars, all right? So she is talking about very, very real things. But I just want to correct some information because you've seen a lot of celebrities lately talking about this because of what's going on in the Amazon. I've seen so many people tweeting, what can we do? Or I donated to this or donating to that and stuff. So today we're going to be talking about eating meat, all right? And I was very reluctant on making this video because I've been vegetarian for about two years now and I never want to come off as preachy. Most of you don't even realize that I'm a vegetarian, okay? And listen, I'm not even a perfect vegetarian, okay? Because I'm not vegan, all right? So there are still products that come from animals that I still consume, like eggs, cheese, milk, and those things. So I just kind of want to talk about what we can all do. So anyways, a couple things down linked in the description and in the pinned comment below, two things that I highly recommend you check out. So Hank Green from the Vlog Brothers, he just made an excellent video about what's going on in the Amazon and how it's not what everybody thinks it is because this actually has to do with factory farming and the meat industry. All right, another thing, um, I'm linking down a podcast episode I did about being a fat vegetarian, okay? Like, just check that out. I talk just about why I became vegetarian a couple years ago for health reasons, and I kind of talk about, you know, um, some of the things that people have issues with, like, you know, when people become like preachy vegans or vegetarians. I also talk about like uh, a crazy Facebook group <laughs> in there, but you can check out that podcast episode, all right? But anyways, there's, 
there's a lot of new information coming out about what what is actually happening in the Amazon. So I'm gonna link this article from CNN down below, but there's plenty of articles discussing this, all right? So it states, while the wildfires raging in the Amazon rainforest may constitute an international crisis, they are hardly an accident. The vast majority of the fires have been set by loggers and ranchers to clear land for cattle. The practice is on the rise, encouraged by Jair Bolsonaro, Brazil's populist pro-business president who is backed by the country's so-called beef caucus. While this may be business as usual for Brazil's beef farmers, the rest of the world is looking on in horror. Brazil is the world's largest exporter of beef, providing close to 20% of the total global exports, according to the United States Department of Agriculture, a figure that could rise in the coming years. All right, so, one of the reasons I'm making this video is because a lot of people think that this is just global warming. This is just the environment. This is intentional burning, okay? They are burning down the Amazon rainforest to make room for more cattle farming to feed us beef, okay? And beef is responsible for 41% of livestock greenhouse gas emissions. And that livestock accounts for 14.5% of total global emissions and methane. The greenhouse gas cattle produce from both ends is 25 times more potent than carbon dioxide. All right, so I just wanted to get the facts out there. So there's a couple things. So one of them is, is supply and demand, all right? They're trying to make room to raise more cattle to get us more beef. So that's part of the issue. But factory farming is one of the leading causes of global warming, all right? So something that I realized, you know, when I first became vegetarian, like I first became vegetarian purely for health reasons, all right? Seven years ago when I got sober, I had congestive heart failure and my heart is still healing. It's a thousand times better than what it was, but I still have some issues. So I decided to try being vegetarian for just a month, right? And in that first month, my blood pressure dropped, I lost 20 pounds, and then I just kept going. And then I started learning more about how consuming meat contributes to global warming, right? And I would often go to the store, this is something I talk more in detail about in my podcast episode, but like, I wasn't buying meat anymore. So I have to figure, like the store is not ordering as much meat because I am not purchasing as much meat, even though I'm just one person, right? So I just wanna talk a little bit about this. Like, I, I think, and this isn't a knock at anybody, because like I said, I never wanna be preachy or come off as holier than thou when it comes to this subject, but I do feel like it's, it's easier to kind of disregard or ignore that factory farming is one of the leading causes of global warming because when we acknowledge that, then we acknowledge that we're contributing to the problem by eating meat, all right? And I'm not here to be like, hey, switch to being a vegetarian or a vegan right now. That's not what it's about. Hell, my son is like 50-50, all right? That boy eats him some meat. But when he comes over here with myself and my beautiful girlfriend and we're vegetarian, like tonight, I'm making a, a, a pasta and we have meatless Italian sausage that tastes bomb. And if any of you want me to do videos or blog posts or whatever, like what I eat in a day, like the meat substitutes are absolutely amazing. And my son actually loves them as well. So my suggestion is if you want to really help, right? You don't have to become a full vegetarian or a full vegan by any means. Like just something, it all adds up, all right? So like if you have one day or two days or three days a week where you go vegetarian or one meal three days a week where you go vegetarian, that helps. It all adds up. Like imagine, imagine I don't know how many views this video is gonna get, but imagine if everybody watching this video just committed to having one, at least one vegetarian meal a week, right? And like I said, I can make videos or whatever you guys want. Like. I, I'm one of those people, just like many of you watching this right now, I'm like, I could never do that. I can, I love me way too much. But girl, let me tell you, like this, it's 2019, the substitutes they got, whoo -hoo -hoo, like some of uh, Tristan and I's favorite food, like we go to Carl's Jr. sometimes and they got a Beyond Burger and it is the bomb. 
Burger King has an impossible patty. I think Del Taco has um, beyond crumbles as well for their tacos and things like that. Like more and more restaurants and fast food chains uh, are integrating this because more and more people are realizing like the meat substitutes aren't all that bad, all right? But anyways, I can go on about this for a long time, but like I said, nothing against Gabby Hanna. I think she's a great person. I'm glad she is using her platform to raise awareness. Like everything she listed, like for real, like those are real issues, right? But I just wanna clear up some of the misinformation that's going on that the rainforest is just on fire just because, you know? Like they are purposely setting it ablaze to feed us more meat, all right? But let me know down in the comments below if there's anything else that you want me to do, kind of talk about like meat substitutes or what I eat and things like that. Like just let me know or if you want me to recommend some YouTube channels to do vegetarian or vegan or whatever it is, like help me help you, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. Don't forget to check out the video um, over on the Vlog Brothers channel. It's linked down below and it is mwah, phenomenal, all right? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And a huge thank you to everybody else who supports the channel in other ways, such as buying my books and all that kind of stuff. All right. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.